In the remote stretches of the Gobi Desert, China has quietly activated a technology that may influence the future of global energy systems. The world's first working thorium molten salt reactor is now operational. It's a development rooted in decades-old science driven forward by modern engineering and strategic foresight. To understand its significance, we need to go back in time. In the 1960s, during the height of nuclear experimentation, American scientists at Oak Ridge National Laboratory developed a prototype called the Molten Salt Reactor Experiment. It was safer than conventional reactors, used molten salt as a coolant and fuel carrier, and briefly explored thorium as an alternative nuclear fuel. However, geopolitical interest favored uranium due to its suitability for weapons-grade plutonium production. As a result, the thorium program was shelved and the research was left in declassified documents. Fast forward several decades, Chinese scientists led by the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the Shanghai Institute of Applied Physics revisited that research. They studied the declassified material, replicated the experiments, and enhanced the designs. Construction of the reactor began in 2018. After years of continuous development, it reached criticality in late 2023 and achieved full power operation by mid-2024. Then, in April 2025, during a closed-door meeting at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Project Chief Scientist Xu Hongjie announced a major breakthrough. The team had successfully reloaded fresh thorium fuel into the molten salt reactor while it remained operational, a world first, officially marking China's position at the forefront of thorium reactor technology. So, what makes this reactor different from conventional designs? First, it uses thorium, a more abundant and potentially cleaner alternative to uranium. Thorium produces less long-lived radioactive waste and is not easily weaponized, reducing proliferation concerns. Second, it operates using molten salt as a coolant. This allows the reactor to function at atmospheric pressure, lowering the risk of high-pressure explosions. In case of a malfunction, the molten salt solidifies, naturally containing radioactive materials. Safety and efficiency are not the only benefits. Thorium is more widely available than uranium, with significant reserves in countries like China and India. The design also supports passive safety features, reducing reliance on complex external cooling systems. Together, these traits make it a promising candidate for future energy needs. Other countries have explored thorium-based reactors. India has focused on solid-fuel thorium systems. The United States has supported private ventures such as Terra Power. Denmark's Seaborg Technologies is developing floating molten salt reactors. Yet, China remains the only country with an operational molten salt reactor using thorium in a real-world setting. This achievement is not the end of China's roadmap. A larger reactor, capable of generating 10 megawatts of electricity, is scheduled for completion by 2030. Additionally, blueprints have been shared for thorium-powered ships, suggesting potential applications in zero-emission maritime transport. The implications are considerable, cleaner energy production, improved safety standards, enhanced energy independence, and the revival of a nuclear approach that was once overlooked but never without merit. As the global community seeks sustainable and secure energy solutions, China's progress offers a practical example of what focused investment, scientific continuity, and long-term planning can achieve. If you found this insight valuable, consider subscribing to stay informed on the future of energy, science, and global innovation. Leave a comment and share your thoughts on whether thorium could become the clean energy breakthrough the world has been waiting for. And don't forget to hit the like button to support in-depth content like this.